So we're going to give it what it wants. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette here. I have today a 1963 fuel leak convertible. This is the genuine article. This car is a original engine, original drive line, 63 red fuel leak. I guess I'm getting redundant on the authenticity, but I can't, I can't emphasize it enough. To find a 63 Corvette with an original fuel leak engine is, is quite a rare find. The reason being, a lot of these engines just didn't survive and it wasn't so much misuse or abuse it was a hydrostatic lock issue with the fuel injection they would fill up the cylinders and take out a connecting rod or put a put a piston or a connecting rod through the cylinder wall and it was very common there's it's been fixes for it there's a fuel solenoid that the rebuilders uh, put in there and that, that solves that problem but the car was uh, delivered new in, in new mexico and we have its owner history back to when it was new. It's really a cool story. We have actually made contact with the son of the original owner. So all in all, you know, to find a car with this kind of pedigree and, you know, this type of authenticity, uh, it's just a very rare and special thing. Uh, this engine has been authenticated by Al Grenning. So, you know, he's the foremost expert on engine stamps, that type of thing. It's all the original fuel injection parts, uh, distributor, all, all that really hard uh, to find rare obscure stuff it was all there and um, you know to find a, a restored car like this uh, typical restoration to, to this level of quality now this car was done at least 10 years ago um, you know you're talking 150 plus thousand dollars so uh, this car is uh, you know well under that uh, our asking price so bang for the buck if you could even find an original engine car in this color combination uh, and then restore it you, you, you'd be way double double what we're asking for so it, it's a lot of value and the car runs and drives great uh, it's got you know correct glass in it it's an unhit body uh, this front end is just perfect on it so it's just it's such a special car i've actually had it a little while um, i've kept the car in our inventory just as kind of a uh, uh you know a showpiece we've had it in our collection um, but it's time to move it and uh, we're going to take you for a ride in it and just kind of go through you know why I think this is such a special car so uh, let me show you in the engine compartment here just a few things okay so under the hood we have you know obviously the original engine as I have indicated but it's so much more than that you know these fuel units are, are really hard to come by these are you know all the original components to this car the distributor uh, these are very, very rare distributors, and, and they're, you know, they're, uh, they've are they got a special part number and, and, and all that. And actually with this, the distributor drives the fuel pump. It's all mechanical fuel injection. And, you know, on a typical small block Chevy, you move the distributor to advance or to retard the timing. On this, it has a set screw and a strap, and you actually move that distributor. So, you know, they're, they're really hard to find. Um, but even further than that, you know, the radiator is a, uh, is a date stamped correct part number, a Harrison uh, reproduction radiator, surge tank, alternator, horn relay, you know, horns, all that stuff. It's just so super expensive. Uh, that's, that's true numbers matching. So, you know, this car has a Delco battery and it's kind of set up to drive. It's got radial tires, but you know, it could, it could be judged NCRS. The, the paint's a little on the shiny side. Uh, the, the paint and body work on this car was done to, to the standard that we do it. It's, it's as good as it gets. And again, it was done over 10 years ago. There's, there's no blemishes on it. There's no chips. There's no weird stuff going on with it. So to, to get that level of quality, it's, it, it's, not, uh, it's not cheap. So I'm going to take you guys out for a ride, and uh, I just love driving this car. I uh, love the sound, you know, it's got the right compression. It's just set up the way it should be. So let's go for a ride, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you feel the, the sensation here. This car does have a, uh, a white convertible top, and uh, it is a hard top quick car. I never got the hard top with it, so that is one thing that, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you can search out down the road. But otherwise, the car is uh, complete and numbers matching as it should be.
right, now we had brought this car outside here, but it really wasn't warmed up. So the choke uh, is working as it should. It's still, you know, kicked up the high idle. Now with a fuel leak, the procedure for starting it is on a cold start, all the way to the floor and release. It's all you gotta do. And if it's set up correctly, it's gonna start and go up the high idle. And then, you know, once you get up to a certain temperature, it's gonna, it's gonna drop down to uh, 7, 8, 750, 800 RPM, I believe is where it should be. Now we're not completely warmed up, but we're also not cold here, so. All right, we're getting close to proper temperature here. And this thing's idling where it should be. Now I'm running pretty good gas in here. Uh, with basically 93 with a with a good additive. And that brings us up to 99 100 octane. I don't know if you really need that much, but I like to be you know, better safe than sorry. But with the radial tires on the score, it drives nicely. Uh, it's it's a nice, smooth ride. Um, it's a quiet car. There's no 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 squeaks, no rattles. So everything's tight on it. And it's a nice day today. This is a nice, nice car to drive on a day like today. But this has a nice sound to it. It really does. Um, just a heck of a nice driving car. Okay, so we're close to where I want to be temperature-wise. This transmission shifts nice and smooth. Not much of a radio, but it, it does work as it's supposed to. I'm going to turn that off because I I'd rather listen to the car. Honestly, it's a well-behaved car. It, 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 it sits here and idles as it should. It's got you know a little bit of a lopy cam to it, as, as all the 360s did. It likes to go though. It likes to be driven. It, it would rather be at 5,000 RPM than at uh, 900. So we're going to give it what it wants. as it should should be right there I I wasn't going to take it to 65 but it goes really nicely up to you know almost 6,000 there felt really good shifts perfect and the core ride goes down the road nicely again no vibrations no no squeaks no rattles it stops nice and straight So there you go, that's, that's the way it should run. And uh, you're not gonna find another car out there with this type of pedigree, with this type of authenticity, with this level of restoration, and this level of quality at this price. It, it doesn't exist. So 
if you, if you want, you know, a 63 Fuley and you don't have to have a split window, let me tell you, search no further. This is the car to buy. Because it's just, if this were a coupe, um, I would be able to get in the uh, 190 to 200 plus range all day long. And, you know, hey, 63 split windows are the iconic, you know, car of, of that era. There's just no question about it. But hey, you can buy this one for half the price. And it's still a 63 Fuel. So, in red. So that's my sales pitch. Um, this car doesn't need a sales pitch. You just have to want a convertible. And uh, this is the one to buy. So give us a call. Give us a, send us an email, shoot us a text, whatever. And we'll be happy to discuss it. We take trades. Um, you know, let us, let us know what your thoughts are. And we'll be happy to get you into this thing. Oh, that's so nice.